My name is Anne Gray. I'm the Senior Charge Nurse in the Mayor's Department at Edinburgh Clyde Royal, where I've worked for 29 years. At the start of the pandemic, I was due to go on a long planned holiday with friends to Bahrain, which was obviously cancelled. I came back to work to support the staff, who were obviously very anxious. I worked closely with the consultants involved to develop pathways for patients to come into the hospital. And from this, we quickly decided to set up a red ED and a green ED and split our department into two. We did not have enough staff for this, therefore our colleagues in day surgery quickly stepped up to the mark to look after our patients. They have been amazing. They have changed their shift pattern. They are used to working with patients who usually walk into their department relatively well for a small minor procedure and now they are caring for critically unwell patients. Our department has supported them through this. People who we would normally just smile at and say hello are now, we are now on first name terms with. We expected to be knee deep in patients and be overwhelmed. I had long discussions with my family, as did my staff with their families. There may be shifts that we would not be able to leave. We would have to stay on and work and care for patients. We just did not know what was going to be upon us. During the first few weeks of the pandemic, one of our colleagues became ill with COVID. She was subsequently admitted to the Queen Elizabeth. I can still recall receiving her text and the heart stopping moment reading it having to tell the staff the next day she had been admitted and was very ill with COVID was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. On the 17th of March, my granddaughter Ada was born. We have not been able to hold her yet, but we have made weekly visits to her house to look through the window. But nothing is the same as getting that first cuddle. It is not enough just to say thanks to the staff. They need to know that they made it so much easier for me to come to work every day. As frightening as the pandemic is, Inverclyde Royal has come together as a team and one that I am incredibly proud to be part of.